there's different ty types of glucose transporters. You got glucose transporter one, two, three, four, five. There's different ones, but inside the cell for insulin, it's group four. So what happens is with insulin resistance is that going back up to the top with the insulin receptors, the um, receptors, they get drowned out. There's so much glucose, it's like a deluge. If you water a plant with um, a gallon, a bucket gallon of water, you drown it. But if you slowly pour a gallon in over a couple of days of water for the plant, the plant can utilize it. Same thing with the receptors. When you have so much glucose in the blood sugar, the receptors can't handle it and it becomes, they, they're, uh, they can't work. They become non-functional. That's what insulin resistance is, is that you can have all the insulins, uh, insulin that your body needs to get the uh, sugar into the cell, but if it's drowned, there's too much of it, it's not gonna happen. So we need to dry out those insulin receptors. This is what the fasting is for. And it's also for what workouts are for. So go into the workout. If we go over to number two on the slide over to the right, <clears throat> and you see uh, in pink, you see muscle contraction. Okay, calcium is needed for your muscles to contract. Magnesium is the opposite of calcium. So calcium contracts the muscle, magnesium relaxes the muscle. This is why we need a balance between those two. When you get muscle cramps, it's maybe because you have too much calcium, but possibly also because your magnesium level is down low. There's different um, minerals that, uh, that help relax the muscle as well, but magnesium is the big one. So calcium contracts the muscle. The, uh, that's what CA plus means in the pink down at the bottom.